Blessings. Blessings, everyone. Blessings, chosen ones. I pray you all are having a blessed and awesome day. I pray that you are enjoying your Sunday in peace, and that it is filled with much love and joy. I want to talk to you all today about a word that the Lord has given me. It has been in my spirit all month long. Fruition is coming into fruition. So that is what I want to talk to you all today about this Sunday. And if you all do not know the definition for fruition, I wrote it down. But first, I want to introduce myself to the newcomers. My name is Latoya T. Wolford. I am an author, a life coach, and a motivational speaker. And I also have a podcast that you can listen to whenever you feel the need. Chosen Ones with Latoya T. Wolford. Blessings to you all, and thank you for joining this video. Okay, so this definition, fruition, means that if you do not know, attainment of anything desired. Realization, accomplishment, fulfillment, bearing fruit as hard work comes into fruition. And I've been feeling this word. It's been in my spirit all month long, you all. I believe it's been in there for the end of February too, but I went back to look on my notes to make sure and I didn't see it, but I know for a fact when I first wrote it down in my notes on my phone, it says March 2nd. So that's a long time, you all. That is a long time. I haven't checked my notebook yet. This is just on the phone because I have a notebook also with notes in it. But I didn't check that. I just checked the phone. But I want to tell you all that God is saying it's coming to fruition, meaning that whatever you have been dedicating yourself to, thank you, Holy Spirit, whatever you have, have been dedicating yourself to in your work, it is coming. The time is near. You may not see the good works right now. You may feel like what you are doing is not good, but in God's eyes, it is great. You are doing an awesome job because it is coming to fruition. I want to give you all a scripture in, what is scripture at? 2 Thessalonians 1 verses 11. With this in mind, we constantly pray for you that our God may make you worthy of his calling and that by his power, he may bring to fruition your every desire for goodness and your every deed prompt by faith. So I have been discussing this for a while. It's just been in my spirit, you all, about working and everything that God is doing. He is moving so quickly right now. He is moving Right now, you all, with whatever you are doing, he is moving, and I've been feeling it in my spirit for a while. So, as I post videos, this is like mainly what I'm talking about because it's like this is what he is giving to me, you all. He is giving me this, and I am so excited because I know I have been waiting on some things patiently. I have been desiring some things and I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. And I just thank God that it is time that it is coming into fruition right now in Jesus name. I have another skip scripture in second Samuel 23 verses five. And it says, if my house were not right with God, surely he would not have made, made with me a co an everlasting covenant arranged and secured in every part. Surely he would not bring to fruition my salvation and grant me every desire. So what he is saying is, if he was not doing the right thing, there is no way that God would just bring everything to fruition. So this is another positive thing that you all should be just pleased with and just grateful and thankful for because that means you are doing what's right. This word is not for everybody. This is a prophetic word. Fruition. It is not for everybody. It is for the people, for the chosen ones who have been doing what God has called them to do. And you know in your heart who you are. So if you know you have been doing what God has called you to do, and you have been working your hands and you have been just doing everything. You just been trying your hardest and you don't see 
nothing happening right now, but you have never given up. You have never stopped. This word is for you. So I just wanted to share that with you all and let you all know that it is coming to fruition and God is pleased with what you are doing in Jesus name. I'm sorry. Somebody is calling me. Sorry about that. I want to, um, now I was just going to end this video, you all, but the Holy Spirit has led me to do communion with you all. So, you know, communion is when God has Jesus talked to the 12 disciples about what was coming, what was going to happen with him, to him. So on some Sundays, I don't think I did it last Sunday, but on some, some Sundays, I would do communion with you all and, you know, just thanking Jesus for what he has done, done for us, just remembering Jesus Christ for everything he has did. So in 1 Corinthians 11 verses 24, he explains it, and I will list it in the description box. But if you need to pause this video, you can, and we're just going to um, take the bread and the wine, which is the juice. But if you don't have to have, you know, the grape juice or wine or whatever, you could just use, you know, a piece of bread, a chip, whatever you have that symbolizes Jesus Christ. And so when he sat with his 12 disciples, he had his bread in his hand and he broke the bread and he said to them, this is his body. Every time you take this bread, you do it in remembrance of him. So we're going to take the bread right now together as one. And when we take this bread, we're, are, when we are going to think about Everything that Jesus has done for us, how he sacrificed his life for us. And then he had the cup of his wine. And he said, this is his blood. So as often as you drink it, do it in remembrance of me. So we're going to drink this wine, which is we drinking his blood and we doing it in remembrance of him. And, you know, we just want to thank Jesus for everything he has done for us. We want to remember, just take some time to remember how they beat him and how he sacrificed his life for us. The Holy Spirit is here, you all, right now. He is here. He is here with me right now. And he just want us to remember him, you know, how he was on the cross and how he died for our sins. How they, you know, treated him horribly. They beat him. They did everything. But he did it for us. He did it for us to save us from our sins. So I want you all to remember that and think about that. Think about how much Jesus loves us. And we need to try every day to love just like Jesus. You want to pray to him and ask him, Father, teach me how to love like Jesus. Teach me how to love like Jesus. I want to thrive for that every day of my life. I invite you into my life every day, Father God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want to pray us out right now. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I just pray that whoever is listening to this video under the sound of my voice, that they gain great understanding and wisdom and knowledge knowledge out of this word, Father God, in Jesus' name, that they will go throughout their day, keeping you first in their lives, Father, every day in Jesus' name, that they will not feel defeated by the enemy in no way, no type of way in Jesus' name, knowing that you have already paid the price for our sins in Jesus' name, so they will just repent and keep on moving and keep on going in the name of Jesus. They will not feel like they have been left behind, but they will stand firm on faith and know that you is there with them every step of the way. So I thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus for saving us all in Jesus name, for taking us throughout our day in spirit and in truth. 
Look into you, the author and the finisher of our faith, standing firm on your word. I thank you for blessing their household, for blessing their families. In the name of Jesus, I thank you for healing. I thank you, Jesus, that you have died on the cross and you have healed us all. In the name of Jesus, we have healed. We are healed. You paid the price for our healing over 2,000 years ago. So we thank you for this right now. We thank you for a great day. We thank you for your grace and your mercy in Jesus' name. We thank you that our mercies are new every morning in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. So we rebuke the enemy right now in Jesus' name with everything he is trying to think he is going to come up against in our lives. We rebuke him right now in Jesus' name and we stand firm on faith. We stand firm on the word of God. We stand firm in our wisdom in Jesus name, the wisdom that you have gave us father God in the name of Jesus. And I just thank you. We just thank you right now in Jesus name. We pray. Amen. Blessings to you all. Blessings to you all. I will see you all in the next video. And I pray that this word has blessed your heart. I pray that you can grow, go, grow, I'm sorry, grow from this word and whatever you do not understand, remember to seek God face first, to go to God in prayer and ask for wisdom and discernment on whatever you do not understand. Remember to give him your time every day, every single day of your, of your life. Give God your time, keep him first, no matter what. No matter what, pay your tithes. I don't know why I'm saying this, you all, but the Holy Spirit put it on my heart to say, pay your tithes. 10% of everything you have, pay it to God. Give it to the kingdom of God. Advance the kingdom of God. Save souls. Do it all, you all. The Holy Spirit is working. He is working right now. Save souls. Go out into the world and save souls. Advance the kingdom of God. Do not let no one perish. Jesus does not want anyone to perish. So we want to save every soul that we can in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Talk to your friends, talk to your relatives, talk to anybody you can and tell them, tell them the good news of Jesus Christ. Tell them the good news. Tell them the gospel in the name of Jesus. Woo. I pray. Y'all, we had it. We had a war Sunday at church today, so I, I think I'm still on fire from that war Sunday today in church. But blessings to you all. This is the Holy Spirit. I pray you all have a wonderful, blessed day in Jesus' name. Blessings to you all.